New at 5.30, it's a move that could save taxpayers more than a million dollars a year. Tonight, Danville City Council members will hear a proposal to move the adult detention center under the sheriff's office instead of the city. 10 News reporter Cole Teranstad is working for you to learn more about the impact it would have and how the money might be used. The Danville Adult Detention Center is currently the only city-run adult detention center in the state. But city council members are considering making it part of the city's sheriff's office. City manager Ken Larking says this is one suggestion in a study done to determine how the city could save money in order to close the projected long-term budget gap. The cost of health insurance, um, our support of education, some other uh, expenditures uh, grow at a faster pace than um, most other expenditures, so likely that that's where the gap comes from, so that's likely where the funding would go toward. That funding is estimated to be $1.3 million a year. Information about the possible merger will be presented to city council members Tuesday night. We have to take a, a good look at what exactly this means, what the impact will be both to um, our employees, our service level, um, the uh, really the outcomes for the inmates as well. Also, ultimately, the General Assembly would have to uh, approve an additional amount of expenditures toward the increased amount of constitutional employees that the Sheriff's Department would have to have. The director of the Adult Detention Center declined to discuss what impact a merger could have on the center. Danville Sheriff Mike Mondul says the exact impact on the Sheriff's Office is unclear. There's a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities, and then um, you know, we've got to work with city council if, if the city decides that that's the way it wants to go. In Danville, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. Martinsville and Newport News also had city-run adult detention centers before they merged with the sheriff's offices there. It's not clear when city council members could make a decision about the possible merger in Danville.